Hello there, Davina here and welcome to another tutorial from Useful Graphic Design Tutorials. Have you ever taken a photograph and when you've either printed it off or come on the screen you've thought, hmm, hasn't quite worked? Well I think that applies to this one. I don't want the lamp posts in it. I couldn't really take them out at the scene but we can do something about it now. This gap up here it doesn't do anything for me. It, it's drawing my eye there and I don't want it to. And I don't like this bit over here. So what I want to show you with a little bit of cropping and some cloning, we can turn a, um, an okay photo into something which I think is a bit more dramatic. We've got rid of the lamppost, we've got rid of that and we've brought it in here. So how do we do it? Right. First of all, we click on the background layer and we duplicate it. The reason for doing that twofold. One is if you do make a bit of a mess in your work then you can get rid of the layer and put another one in and carry on. Also, if you click on the eye then you can see where you were and where you've been. Well, we haven't done anything yet so we can't see the differences. Okay, well, let's do some cropping to tighten up the composition of this picture. So we come over to the clone tool, sorry, the uh, getting ahead of myself, the crop tool, double click on there. And I'm going to go click on the image at the top left hand corner or click there and drag down and I'm going to drag above these posts and the black here so I don't have to even think about getting rid of them and then I'm going to bring it in to about there I think so that squiggly bit. I want to get rid of this so this is where you can move it in and it's this this is the edge of the image uh, the, the picture and that's the edge there Yes, I think I'm happy with that and press enter. So we've cropped it and I think it's a little bit more dramatic now. You, The imagination, you're left wondering what's happening behind here. But of course we've got to get rid of these um, lamp posts and the way to do that is first of all click on the magnifying tool and I'm going to zoom in here so we can see what we're doing and then on the clone tool double click on there and one, what you're doing basically is copying from an, um, somewhere in the image and if you like pasting it over the bit that you want to get rid of and a very neat way of doing that is with the clone tool and you can have a brush, I've got a soft brush here. You can have a hard brush if you want and sometimes you do need a hard edge brush but in this instance a soft one is quite good. And what I'm going to do is click hold, con click control and you will see a crosshair come up. That's your source point. So click there and that stays there and you can either click on here or you can brush and when you brush your source point is going down and it's taking from that point there. I also come and click again because it's useful to move it. Um, in, in this instance it doesn't matter because the pattern is random and it won't look odd but there's sometimes when you need to take small and frequent copings if you like. Um, it still need a little bit here so I'm going to take that edge out. That's one and then the other one was here wasn't it and I'm going to get rid of that although I doubt if you see it when it's uh, printed out but I don't like it there. So hold the control key down and click on where you want to copy from and tap or brush where you want to cover up. And I'm going to do that there. Obviously it, you need to take your source from as close to 
the place you want to get rid of because you've got a similar background and I'm going to do the same here click on the control and just go in and come down like that I'm going to go this side now what what's happening is I'm also picking up what I want to get rid of if that makes sense the source material went over it don't panic the best way to get rid of that is control Z and just move the crosshairs by clicking on the control click it on the screen and then going over and we'll just quickly go down there and similarly underneath and it will bring in the bits of water and it looks like the ripples so let's have a look at what this looks like at 25% that's 25% of the, the whole 100% we wouldn't see it and I think you agree that I've forgotten where it is but it, it does look an awful lot better what you do need to do obviously is to save it and if you want to come back and work on this I would suggest you go to file save as and where it says select by file type by extension the GIMP XCF is the one that retains all the layers and you can come back and play change it, do whatever you want to, or come back and add to, it's all there. If you finished finished and, and you've decided you want to print it off or whatever, then either, well, whichever you want, PNG or um, JPEG, and you would just click in there, put your title, uh, dot .jpeg. Well, I'm not going to do that now. Well, I hope you found that interest useful. If you have any comments, any questions, come over to our fan page. You'll see the details below. We'd love to hear from you. That's all for today, but see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.